In this video, I will explain to you why you should not even bother getting a GMRS license. And I will also explain why you should bother getting a GMRS license. However, unlike all of those other lesser YouTubers, I will not preach to you one way or the other about what is right and what is wrong. Nay, as a responsible YouTube superstar, I shall simply lay out some facts and some opinions from a wide cross-section of people regarding this subject so that you can use your very own critical thinking skills and decide for yourself what you should or should not do. And even though I would never tell anyone what to do or what not to do in any video, some people will no doubt choose to become enraged anyway. And as proof of their enragement, they will leave stupid comments proclaiming that I encourage people to break the rules simply because I speak the truth or discuss opinions that do not align with their own. And in the world of YouTube superstars, we refer to this group of some people that are uncontrollably compelled to leave such stupid comments as idiots. However, I will not waste any of your very valuable time getting into the psychology behind why some people feel so compelled to prove their stupidity to everyone on the internet because I know absolutely nothing about psychology or mental defectivenesses such as dumbtism or schizophrenia. Fortunately, though, I am certain that there will be plenty of online psychology experts that will leave comments explaining it for all of us lesser educated common folk just as soon as they get home from their shift at Arby's. So first of all, allow me to begin with why many people feel that you should get a GMRS license. And of course, the first very obvious reason why most people believe that one should purchase a GMRS license is because our overlords at the FCCs has decreed that in order to use our free Xenu given GMRS airwaves, you must first pay the FCCs. And when asked why the FCCs say you must pay, the answer is very simply, because the FCC's says so. And if you follow the FCC's rules and you purchase your GMRS license, the FCC's will then give you permission to use a GMRS radio, transmit with up to 50 watts, and make use of GMRS repeaters. Many people will go on to validate their choice of buying a GMRS permission slip by pointing out that a GMRS license costs only $35 for 10 years, which is only about 29 cents of monies per month. It covers your entire family and there is no test. Therefore, anyone that does not pay the FCCs for a permission slip must be a terrorist. Another reason for having a GMRS license is that many GMRS repeater owners require you to have and announce your GMRS call sign when using their repeater. And as a matter of civility and decorum, if you are going to use their repeater, it would be nice to follow their rules. Another reason pointed out by GMRS license supporters is that the only way for the FCCs to measure GMRS radio usage is by regulating the GMRS airwaves and thusly enumerating the GMRS airwave usage by way of the number of permission slips handed out. That way, if our overlords at the FCCs should decree that not enough people are using the GMRS airwaves, as determined by how many people purchase a permission slip, our overlords at the FCCs may then decree that the free GMRS airwaves should be shut down and auctioned off to the highest bidder. In other words, if enough people do not pay for a GMRS permission slip, the free GMRS airwaves could be outlawed. And now the counterpoint 
why many people choose to not purchase a GMRS license. The number one reason by far is because many people are just lazy. Number B, the FCC's website where one must go to purchase a GMRS license is a dumpster fire. And for many people maneuvering through the nightmare labyrinth of broken links and rage-inducing circular GeoCities menus, it is not worth the confoculation. Or they make it through the application process only to be rewarded with errors when trying to hand over their credit card monies. Number five, many people are of the opinion that our Xenu given airwaves are free. And I quote, only a bootlicker would pay for a permission slip to exercise their Xenu given human right to freedom speech on our free airwaves. And any infringement of this right is a violation of the 19th Amendment to the Constitution, and it is illegal. Number six, many people are also of the opinion that since call signs on GMRS are rarely used, for example, if you're in the middle of nowhere while hiking or off-roading, why should they bother to get a permission slip if they aren't bothering anybody or causing any interference? The FCC does not care, so why should they care? Another reason that many American citizens refuse to pay the FCCs for a permission slip to use our free Xenu given airwaves is because according to them, and again, I quote, Purchasing a GMRS license gives the government your permission to enter your home unannounced at any time without a warrant to inspect your radio equipment. However, I would just like to point out that if those people had actually taken the time to read the FCC's licensing agreement, and if they understand English words, they would understand that the claims that having a GMRS license or a HAM license for that matter allows the FCCs to enter your home anytime that they want is plain wrong. Irregardless, some people still cling to this inaccurate fantasy and for them, in their world, it is still a reason for them to not purchase a GMRS license. And far be it from me to judge them. But perhaps the biggest reason many people choose to not purchase a GMRS license is because in the last 10 years, the FCCs, according to their own public records, has gone after virtually nobody for simply talking on a GMRS radio without a GMRS license. Allow me to clarify that last statement for some people. In the last 10 years, the FCC's has gone after nobody for simply transmitting on a GMRS radio, talking with their friends without a GMRS license. And for even further clarification for anyone that claims that what I just said is wrong, please I invite you to leave a comment with a link to the FCC's public enforcement database listing for all of the people that have received a letter, have been fined, or sent to prison for simply using a GMRS radio to talk with their friends without a GMRS license. Because if it is not listed in the FCC's enforcement database, it simply did not happen. <laughs>